let's start with Harry and Meghan at the Invictus Games. It's actually been such a great sporting event and one where we get to see the glimpses of Harry as we knew him. It's easy to criticise Harry for a great number of things, but his commitment to the Invictus Games is beyond doubt. So much of the footage, it was excellent. They both looked at ease and very much in the spirit of the Games. Rightly, the focus was on the athletes, their stories and their sporting competition. And the Germans put on a great show. Even Harry's speech at the closing ceremony was excellent, but I couldn't quite help but roll my eyes at this. You've shown us the power in not defining people by assumption or their backstory or past pain, but rather instead on their ability, how they show up and who they are in the present. I wonder if he sees the irony that he's the textbook example of someone who defines themselves by their past pain and then monetizes it. Hopefully this was an attempt at empathy because if it wasn't, it was incredibly tone deaf. Irony also seemed to waft into some of Megan's comments at Invictus. She spoke about the importance of family values. This must have gone down sideways given she's gone out of her way to trash the royal family, didn't invite her own father to her wedding and then didn't visit him after he had a stroke. This is after she spoke also about veterans, uh, to veterans about courage and resilience and commented that she had to do her own makeup. Imagine giving a lecture about courage and resilience to military veterans. I'm just not quite sure how someone decides that narrative is a winner. And if that didn't land enough as a clangor, she excused herself for being late because of this. Milkshakes. Why even say that? Look, I will give Megan credit for being introspective enough to know she's totally unrelatable, but I'm sure there are better ways of trying to remedy that than forcing a line about parenting into a speech at a sporting event. There just isn't, unfortunately, the authenticity to pull it off. And the thing is, we're all pretty imperfect, and it's easy to accept the imperfections in others because we all know that we're all human, but it's hard to warm up to people who posture and then pretend to be just like the rest of us. It just doesn't quite sit flush.